And welcome back. You know, one of the big issues that has Canton Township residents concerned, the same flooding. Yeah, that is on the top of their minds. The situation is so serious. The Army Corps of Engineers doing a study to try to come up with a solution. They actually had a meeting just yesterday, and we were there as they met some residents in one trouble spot. We're talking about the Grandview Estates, by the way, off of Denton Road near Gettys Road. Let me show you exactly what's going on there. That's Gettys mm. Road. Oh, wow. And that's nothing yeah. compared to 23. Okay. These photos tell a story, and what a story it is. These are our homes here. That's all, that's about four feet of water right there. Heartbreak, damage, frustration, and worry. This was, this is Gettys. Mm hmm and that is the major east-west route for emergency vehicles. That's Joseph Kubinski. He has the photos and so many flooding stories to share. We caught up with him yesterday inside his Canton home. He has documents, maps, and flooding timelines, and sharing it all with the Army Corps of Engineers and city leaders. It's pretty frequent, and it's ugly, mm -hmm. and it's, it, it, I'll be very honest, it's not what we paid for. We are doing a project for Canton Township under the Planning Assistance to States program. This is a program where um, it's a 50-50 cost share. The community pays 50%, we pay 50% with federal funds, and we can come in and basically study a broad range of water-related issues. As Catherine Laboon, a senior hydraulic engineer, helping to find a solution to the flooding issues in Canton Township. She sat at Joe's kitchen table to hear his concerns. One was a nearby farm field, so the crew checked it out. It's, it's really because of the, the, the topography that slightly sloped this way, it's just enough for the water to just come running down and running right into the neighborhood. So. What's being done now to help with the flooding and what's next to help the homeowners? Here we saw some things on Bar Road where the crown of Bar Road was raised and some ditching happened to handle more flow. Uh, also Fowler Creek, which is kind of the, uh, the culprit, if you will, here for the flooding. Um, Wayne County uh, cleared out the culvert under Gettys Road where there was quite a bit of silt, silt and sediment buildup. On a bigger scale, the township is working with HOAs. There's over 250 of them. The vast majority of them have stormwater ponds to make sure that all those ponds are functioning appropriately in the way they are designed. As for Joe, he appreciates the meeting, the time, and now is hoping for some results. For me, it doesn't matter what you do. Just, you know, get something done. Mm. And of course, we'll let you know what comes out of that Army Corps of Engineers study.